And here we're continuing with our Revit basics, uh, kind of leading off in our last lesson, just um, sitting in an elevational view. I'm going to click on my little um, doghouse button here and go to a 3D view. So we want to talk about the options dialog box and also um, the that recent files folder. If you want to get to the recent files, you can close down what projects you have open, but you can also go into here and hit recent files and you can jump back to your recent files uh, window at any point, even if you're in a project. Most people don't realize that. The only way you, the, people think you, you can only get to this window at the beginning uh, before you open a project when in fact you can go back and do it. Anytime you want, you can go switch windows inside of here and you can go back and click and switch on to a different window and it'll go back to the project that has that window in it. Now, uh, the options dialog box, let's talk about that. We go to our big blue R and we go down here to options. Inside of options, we have general information, user interface, graphics, file locations, rendering. This is high, higher level stuff. This doesn't get into walls and doors and pipes and concrete or anything like that. It's, it's very basic. Where are my files coming from? Kind of my preferences, right? General information. User one. This is important when you get into using multi-user projects and work sets. This is going to be me if I'm going to uh, want to be known by my other colleagues. I should change that to say my name and then it'll show up in the database when we're interacting on a project, Revit is going to be able to say, Daryl G has that column or that uh, piece of equipment, etc. So this is how Revit knows who you are. Saving and frequencies, standard stuff over there. User interface, when you look up here, you can see architecture, structure, systems, etc. You can turn those tabs on. If all you do is strictly architecture, you might as well, well, you'll need some structural, but you can definitely go in, say, okay, turn off all the system stuff, massing I need. That way, you know, it just saves you some screen space. Or if you're mechanical, you know you're not going to do any architectural or structural, then you can go in here and turn mechanical on and maybe piping and you don't need massing, and you don't need electrical. Okay, so there's the analytical part as well as the regular stuff. So user interface, how you want your screen to look. Keyboard shortcuts is a good one. This is like your AutoCAD PGP file where you can create your own shortcuts for, you know, wall is WW and door is DD. And so you don't have to go find the tool up here. You just type in. So these are keyboard shortcuts. Okay. You can add those in. A double click options. When you double click on a family or an assembly or a group, what happens? What do you want to happen when you double click stuff? So again, user interface, tool tip assistance, normal uh, project environment, display contextual tab. Okay, graphics is another good one. What color do you want your background to be? Um, alert symbols. Um, when your eyes aren't so good like me, you can go in here and you can, you know, change your the the font size of your temporary dimensions. Background is transparent. Um, file locations is important. Default path for user files. This is where your work set central uh, local file will be saved. This is where your family templates are coming from. If it's on a network, should go to there and point clouds. Okay, so point cloud locations, if you don't like, you can hit browse. Places, you can add your favorite places if you open projects with specific project numbers. You add those places and they'll show up. When you say open, it'll be a lot easier to get at them. So your favorite places get put in there. A little bit of information about rendering, spell checker. This stuff in here isn't so critical. So the first... Um, four sections in here. You want to go in and have a look at that. You can always hit your help menu. So this is all stuff that only affects you on your computer at your workstation. And it applies to all projects. That stuff isn't project specific. It applies to everything you open in here. Okay. So 
Um, that is under our options and you should probably get that set once and then you really don't go in and change that too much afterwards.